Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year guys. My name is King Sam and today I'm going to show you guys how to recreate this title animation I saw in Squid Game. If this video helps you in any way, please like, share and subscribe. Drop a comment down below if you don't understand anything and I'll get to you. So, let's jump right to the video. So, only in After Effects and I made the logo in Adobe Illustrator and there's a video on my channel you can watch the time like of how I made this logo. You can give that a watch if you want to. But if you don't want to go to that stress, the video files are also in my video description. You can just download them and walk along with me. So, I just created a new background so that I can, our school game, this thing can come out a little bit better. So now, I'm just going to the major uh, layer we are working on. Because this S is going to protrude. If you watch, if you watch our reference video, the S protrudes, the number two protrudes. This part also produces the I and the U also produce. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to left click on it. I'm going to go to create and create shields from vector layer. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And now let's start from our S. Now I can just find it down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to my pen tool here and I'm going to my S outlines. You guys should note that when you create outlines like this, the originals will be hidden. But you can just click on this eye eyeball tool here and it's just going to bring it back. Now, using my pen tool, I'm just going to delete a whole bunch of these points because I just need the points that's actually going to protrude, the part of the logo that's actually going to protrude. Sorry. So that's like here. And I don't need this one also, so I can delete this also. And now, on this now, I can alt click it, alt click here too, so that it's actually a straight line. Cool. And now I use my hitch, so I can move this like this. That's looking beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my outline layer here, open up the contents, open up group, and I'm going to open up my path. Now let's zoom this inside a little bit and I'm just going to come to somewhere around here and I'm going to make a keyframe on my path. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two points here and I'm just going to hold down shift and drag it. Select these two points here and to draw hold down shift and drag it out until it's outside my layer. So with this one now I can just zoom on back. I'm just going to increase it a little bit more because, yeah, I can. Now I can go back to the beginning of our composition here and I'm just going to select this two and I'm just going to click and drag it out like this. So you have this nice looking animation. So with that also, you can just hit F9 to easy ease and I'm just going to do the first part of my animation, just making it slow down towards the end. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to my pen tool here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure nothing is selected down here. And starting from the end here, I'm just going to make an outline. Like this. And make sure you start from the place you want your, uh, you want your animations to start from. Now I can just go to the top here, I just rename it S Ani for S animation. And I'm just going to drag this down to somewhere above my original S layer here. So now I can just move the two layers here, my S animation and my S layers back here. Now you can hit F4, toggle between modes so that you can see your track mat here and change the uh, track mat for your S layer to S animation. Now I'm going to open up my S animation. I'm going to add the theme parts animation to it. And I'm just going to open up my theme parts, make a keyframe for the end animation. I'm just going to move it down. Let's say somewhere like here. And the initial animation, I'm going to change it to zero. Now you can just click you so we can see a lot more of this thing properly. I'm going to select these keyframes here. I'm going to hit F9 to easy ease. And 
for this first one i'm going to open up my graph editor like this and for this second part here i'm just going to jack it up like this so i want it to just i want to make the speed ground something like this and for this one here for my s animation here i'm going to adjust the speed ground to be something like this when you play it back, you have something like this. And that's looking amazing. So it's the same um, theory that I did for my S that I'll do for most of these my players right here. So I'm going to do my U and maybe I'm just going to skip over the many ones. So for I, I is a little bit different so what you can you're going to do for i you're just going to actually delete the original one because you can make the animation work with only the outline so what you're going to do is once you come to the beginning of the timeline here for this i you open it up a keyframe on your path here you're going to come down here Going to move this down to the end here now for this one here you're just going to select sorry you're going to select these two points here and i'm just going to move it up like that and when you go back to the beginning of the timeline here you're just going to select the final two points down here it's going to jump down up to let's say take it outside like this now for this one now when you f9 when you are going to your graph editor here when the graph editor here you can select this and you're going to drag this upward like so same thing i'm going to do with this one you can drag this like this and we're going to select this one like this so for your M, M is also a little bit different and for M you have to first create your outline and you like switch it on, go to your pen tool and you are just going to delete most of points here. So let's see like this, delete it and what we are going to do is go to the point where your animation is supposed to stop so that's around here. Open up your outlines, content, group, path, keyframe, and I'm just going to move this downward like so. Now, this next part, select these two. We're going to drag these two out like this. Back to the beginning of our timeline here, and this many ones here. Same thing, I'm just going to drag them out. And second part of this thing is actually the tricky part. So the second part of this thing is let's first like zoom in properly. Get our pen tool, and you're not going to start like from the end here. You are just going to continue from here. Till the end like this now you can see it has very sharp edges so you have to put a second point there so you can actually use it to get that square edge so you have to do something like this now from there is the same uh, old green sanity layer animation again Okay, so if you have done that, you're supposed to have something looking like this. So let me give you guys a quick, some quick advice. Now, if you are doing this by yourself, maybe you should actually watch out places that the lines intersect. For example, when, you are, when I was animating this G here, I made sure that as the animation is going forward, 
this line had to pass this area before my G animation started so that it actually gives you the feeling like okay it's actually flowing into each other same thing with this Q animation up here too I made sure that a little bit of it had passed through where I knew the line was going to be before I started the animation in my timeline so that is just something that you actually need to just put that in the back of your mind so that you can make your design a little bit more cohesive so the next thing I was going to do is we are going to start from the beginning so we are going back to the beginning of our timeline here and now we are going back to our triangle and squares and whatever you may call it so I'm just going to select three of them here and I'm just going to move down with the point where the animation starts so here open up their position properties and I'm going to make it T-frame on their position and I'm going to come back to the beginning of my timeline here and I'm just going to make sure everything is on the same level with this triangle right here on triangle on the tri square layer here I'm just going to move it I'm going to move the triangle a little bit closer to the square move the square downward a little bit like here and for my circle that is up there I'm just going to reposition it like so it looks like it's yeah it looks like it's actually like properly centered so if you see it now everything just glides into place and i can just f9 to easy this and my graph editor here should just look like this it starts fast put up an end slow i'm just going to let me click here and I'm going to create a new null object. Now I'm going to hit F4 so I can toggle between world and I'm going to make my null object 3D. I'm going to select all my layers apart from my background layer. If you locked it, you can naturally select it. But I'm going to select all my layers here and I'm going to make them 3D also. Now I'm going to parent them to the null object right here. And we can actually zoom out so we can actually what I'm going to do is on our node here, we're going to open up our position keyframe and our rotation keyframes. So let's come to around let's see when our animation stops. Our animation stops somewhere around here. Now we're going to make a keyframe on our position. I'm going to make a keyframe on our X rotation. Now we're going to go back to the beginning of our timeline here, and I'm just going to use my position animation here to just zoom in to this bunch like this now my rotation i can rotate it like this like it's on a flat surface so using this now you can actually reposition it just move it to the center of our composition i are just going to select everything hit f9 to easy ease now we are going to come to about 4 seconds here and we are just going to drop the scale a little bit more let's see here now we can actually just shorten our timeline like the 4 seconds like this ok now let's pull our graph editor final time we are going to select this and we are going to And now this is what we finally have. So think I would in that video. Please, if this video has helped you anyway, remember like, share, and subscribe. I will really, really appreciate it. Who is your favorite squid game character? Let me know in the comment section. And now that I've learned how to make this animation, why don't you take a crack at learning how to make this one right here? Or you can also check how I made this animation right here. And I'll catch you in the next video. So till then, improve every day grow constantly and endlessly. Love you guys. Happy New Year once again.